In this tutorial video, I will introduce Spike, a computer software for stereographic projection, for interactive crystallographic analysis. The current version is the 3B. This is one of the main components in the London software suite. You may download the software suite from the website on the screen. A paper about Spike software was published on the Journal of Applied Crystallography 2016. We already saw the installation of London Suite together with the Java Runtime environment and the Java Advanced Image in the first video of the series. Please refer to that video if you want to use the London software on your PC. The laptop I use now has a display resolution of 1920 times 1080. Here is the London launcher icon. Double click the icon, we have the launcher show up. If you have a license file, please copy the license file to C London 3 programs Spike 3 This is Spike license key Click this icon to start Spike 3 A license dialog may pop out in case you don't have the license file. Then you may select the demo mode to continue. Let me brief introduce the function on the menu first, and then go to details with examples. First, let's check file. The first one new is for you to prepare new structure file. You may load two structure files in the program, uh, the phase one and the phase two. And you can save the display as a JPEG or a TIFF file. Exit, leave the program. In stereogram, the first one is pull range setting. I will decide it the maximum of HKL or UVW. I will decide it how dense of the poles on the stereogram. Pull list editor will allow you to add new poles in the stereogram or remove the exist poles. Wolf Knight grid and orientation and uh, stereogram orientation will allow you to change the number of the grid and set the orientation of them. In microscope, two parameter you can change. The high tension, therefore the wavelength, or the TM holder, double tilt or rotation. These two parameters are not for the generate of the stereogram, but for other applications. We'll explain this later. In tool, we provide a different kind of calculations for example, angle between zone axis, angle between plan, normal, refraction, 
HKL list and the convert of Miller Bravi and Bravi indices for hexagonal system and also calculate the normal of a crystal plan. In preference, you have the choose of region of interest and set up the T file resolution. You can choose the Wolfenite color and the pool colors for phase one and phase two. And also you can set up the font for the label for the pulse. In table, we have a periodic table of the element. And we also have the table for space group. In options, you can hide the toolbar or show the toolbar. And you can change the look and feel of the window. You have a three choice here. And you can also change the monitor size for desktop or laptop. If this laptop is usually smaller, but desktop is big. In help, we have the current drive and serial number to in just click it and you can read out your serial number. You can copy this number to us or just take a snapshot of the dialog window sent to us so we can prepare the license file for you. The last one is version. It tells you which version is the program is and what is the last update. If you already watched SAED3 or PCED3 and are familiar with the how to prepare a new structure file, you may move forward to the next topic. London Software Suite is distributed with a collection of uh, structure files, so you can use the spec 3 immediately. Here I show you where the file is in C folder and then 3. Here are all the structure is available. Now I will show you how to create a new structure file from scratch. Click new this is the description. Let's type sodium chloride. And this is a cubic structure. Select cubic. And is FCC structure F type. Lattice parameter A equals 5.6402 This cubic structure B and C equals A alpha, beta, gamma equals 90 degrees Space group is limited from 195 to 230 Exactly is 200 
25. Let's check the symbol. Is F M minus 3 M. There are two independent atoms in the structure. First one is sodium. And A1. At number is 11. Atom coordinate 0, 0, 0. Occupancy factor is 1. Add atom here. Second atom is CL1. Atom number is 17. Coordinate 0, 0 0.5, 0, occupancy 1, add atom. So you see here are two atoms in the list. If you type something wrong or you want to modify any of the input, you can select the atom and remove the number will come to here if you want to change something you can change here and add it again here are global isotropic temperature factor usually we just put a zero you can put a non-zero like one two three it will decrease the higher g value Diffraction intensity. Save. We already have the sodium chloride in our list. Here, sodium chloride. So you can, if you want save, you can put a, a new here. And save. Yeah, that's you save the structure. The format of the structure file is uh, simple. You can open it in any text editor. Let me show you the C folder. The three structure this file we just created sodium chloride new and you can see the first line is the title and then this unit cell latest parameter space group member symbol two independent atom atom coordinate and occupancy and this temperature factor and the notes you can modify the file from the text editor. However, you may have a trouble if you write or edit the file in which it didn't meet the requirement format exactly. Therefore, we suggest it's better to use the template to create a new structure file. For calculation of stereogram only, the lattice parameter is enough in the input file. The software is also provide calculate a diffraction list for which the information about space group and atom coordinates are needed. In addition, the structure file can also use in all software components in Lambda.
soft or sweet. We will use two default crystal lattice to generate the stereograms. To generate the stereograms, first select zone axis and specify the zone axis or select the refractions and specify the the central point of the refractions and after that just click stereogram and you have the either zone axis stereogram or refractions stereogram here The two default file names is listed here. This one is from Iron Platinum L10 phase, and the second phase is Magnesium Oxide FCC structure. And you can generate the stereograms from two phase separately, but you can show all the results in the same wolf knife. There is an option to click the mouse right button, and you have all the options to show. Let me read out for you. You can show the central crouch, you can show the wolf knight. And you can show the file name of the first phase or second phase. You can show the projection pole of the first phase or second phase. The labels of the first phase or second phase. Later we'll show the trace line of phase one or phase two. And also the Kikuchi map from phase one or phase two. Or later TM, the angle of the TM, and the limited of the holder, you can rotate it too. You may change the lattice parameter here if you have the license key. We suggest the uh, to load a new file from drop down menu or from graphic menu here and here to load a new file. You are allowed to modify your lattice parameter here to see how the lattice parameter change affected the stereogram. It's better not to create a new file here. It will sometimes confuse you. Just use this field as a slightly modify and see how the stereogram changes. Now let's test uh, some variations. We created the first phase UVW here as 001. And now we can change it to, and you can notice the central point is 001 here. If we change it here to 1, 1, 1, and redo the stereogram. We'll see the whole pattern change and the central point now is 111. The relation is the same because it's the same stereo prime, but the, the view direction are changed. And for the 
refractions we did 001 and let's test for the 010 and you can see before we change is the center point is 001 HKL here and we do diagram and now the center point is 011 And we can control how dense the pole point appeared here. Let's go back to the UVW111 direction. This go to stereogram pole range setting. And for the phase one, the maximum of UVW is 333 three, three. and the HKL is also 333 three, three. or for the maximum G value is 1 and you can select it for uh, applied extension rule or not let's change this one to 111 so the maximum will be u and minus one zero positive one and same as with v and w and let's go to close let's do this see only very few viewpoint whole point is here let's go back and you have a default here. Close. Redo it again. The same thing will happen to the refraction. We can control the density of the poles by use the pole range setting. But there are chance that we want to add an individual pole or remove individual pool here without effect to the others. Then we have to use the the pole list editor. Let's first set pole range to to close stereo. And we can open the pole list. And this is the original one we reload. So the maximum here of number is 2 or minus 2. We want to add uh, 1, 3, 1 pole. We want to see this one only. So we insert, update, and you can see the new pole 131 here without effect to the others. And you can check the list here. The new list pole is here. If we want to remove 1 to 1, we can choose. One to one here. Select it. Remove. Update. One to one pole is disappeared. By this way, if you combine with the pole range setting and editor, you can want any pole appear in your stereogram. Now I show you how to change the uh, grid setting and rotation of the WolfNet for the stereogram. Now is that is uh, 
10 degrees. We want to decrease. This is 5 degree. Both not work. If you increase to this is for 15. And you can change the both network orientation back to zero. You can also rotate the stereogram of phase 1 or phase 2 and this stereogram is for phase 1 and hold here you keep the central one here and the whole stereogram is changed you can use the arrow key precisely to adjust orientation of the stereogram. Let's reset it back to zero. Now I show you how to use the shift and also the zoom and uh, for output the ROI region of interest first generate a uh, stereogram if you want to just show one here the region here you can just use the mouse left button click and slide in and out. Outside bar also can slide help you. Focus. In this way you can use the performance font to get a big number here. If the in this label are very near to each other, they may overlap. You can choose of the tilt label. They try to avoid the overlap them without tilt here. Because that you can choose the center by put it in different number here, same as HKL. There are a chance that you want to move here to the center and you click on that hold the uh, control key and you see a cross there and you hit the mouse button, left button and so you have the center move the center move here then you can enlarge it and you can see the central point is here you can make a, a small adjustment control key and i want the, the three two three in the center of the screen and i hit it and enlarge it Margaret. And after that is three one three again. Three one two control button. So you can always move this one into and if I expand it so you can see this one in the center of the frame. 
And now I show you the region of interest and the performance. Click this out. To show the region and change the size, let's put a small or 800. And you can see a blue square here with the center of the with the uh, 312 in the center. And this is the T PPI point per inch you literally put uh, 300 or little up for a t file and now you can go to file save t and only inside this blue square will be saved as the image with the resolution whatever you define is with the ppi defined here but for jpeg the no effect with the, the the PPI only they will save the the size you defined. Speaker program allow you to load two phase in the program. This two phase can be the same or different. By the combination, you can. Do a lot of things. For example, you can use one of them to show the trees line and the other one to show the sterile farms. And superpose this trees line with your sterile gram. One you can show the Kikuchi map and the other one to show the Kikuchi map index. Two phase have a fixed orientation. You can load this two phase in and the composite stereogram will show the whole orientation relation between this two phase. Now let me show you how to make the trace line together with the stereogram. I'm going to load the both phase one and Phase 2 to aluminum and go to load phase 1. And also we can load here phase 2. You can see here phase 1, phase 2, both aluminum and choose the first one, phase 1 with HKL. 001 and we reduce the whole range to one one and make sure that the uh, extinction rule not applied close and make sure that uh, show trees line phase one checked and calculate here and immediately got the trace line we can remove the wolf mat 001 trace line so here if you want to add a more sterile point to the trace line you can use phase 2 phase 2 is the same phase as phase 1 that you can make a more like here phase two instead of a three a little too many two and you can apply extinction rule or not the matter depending on you need if you want to apply the extinction rule close it make sure here the same as phase 1 let's check phase 1 is 001 so phase 2 I got to HKL also but 0 0 1 0 1 
Maybe I need to increase this one. Just show it, uh, and we can remove the first uh, face, the label, because there will be overlap it. And now we can see if you can enlarge it to the whole screen. And move away. So now you can see with the, the trace line you show and we have an additional spot come out. We still use the aluminum and phase 2 also aluminum to demonstrate how to generate the Kikuchi map. The first one will generate the map and the second one use for index that map. Kikuchi map is related to the high tension or the wavelength. Default is 200 AV and this is the wavelength. If you change it, you can change it directly the wavelength or change the high tension here and click a mouse here. Correspondent to wavelength would show here. So before we do that, we can reduce the the map for to 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 so the generate say the curvy line will not that dense and again close here still different here and now we can select it for phase one to show the Kikuchi map. For phase one, but not for the HKL, it's for the not for the UVW, but for this one. So now we get the Kikuchi map, and we're going to remove the wolf mask. And for the second phase, we're going to select the, the UVW because each of the north will be the zone axis. For second phase, let's do this for zone axis will show the same thing. Reduce to see if it's fit. This is for the second phase. Sorry. Second phase here. And this is second phase for the zone axis, same direction. And now you can see that if I expand the map, whole map, each of the main part component will show index on that. Those things with the high index number, if we increase the index number to higher, then we can show. Here, performance, we can change the label size. This is 10, we can change it to 18. So, all the number can see clearly here. And you can generate for other central zone axis, like a 111. The Kikuji map will use locally. Refine that your result get what you needed. One important application of uh, spec is to for a two phase orientation relationship. Here I use the one is Example in the paper of a uh, spec in general applied crystallography 2016. 
Piece one is magnus chromium gallium aluminum tetragonal phase, and phase two is a beta magnus structure. Here I load, as you can see, simulated for phase one is the tetragonal phase one zero zero in the center and phase two is in the red is beta magnets with zero one two at the center it's a pity that uh, in the paper i make a mistake uh, The figure 9, A and B are swapped. A should be the tetragonal phase and B is the cubic phase. I mislabeled them. Here you can see these two phases have a, a few of them are uh, If I expand the, the whole structure, you can see the selected the zone axis for phase one one zero zero. Of course, is along the second phase zero one two zone axis is here, and there are other points. Uh, the two phases have a, a fixed orientation. Is this point? You can see blue dot and with a red circle. The next one is this one. And the last one is this one. And also here. To show the labels, I can show first uh, only one label from uh, the first phase. So this is one zero zero three one zero and one two zero and here uh, I can turn off the phase one label so you can see is uh, zero one zero and Zero zero minus one or uh, zero zero one, but in the in point to the the other directions of zero zero one. You can take a one picture of like this, and the second picture is the same picture, but the, to label the face two and hide face one index so now you see is 012 and 011 and 010 zero zero 02 minus 1 and 100 zero zero. so with these two figures we can clearly show how this two phase the orientation. The region of interest. I click here. We can select this area and save as a T format. And we change the label. Save again. And we can use in the publications. As you can see, I move the figure center to here. Original center is here. And we can show or not show this point by hide this point. So hide the central point. To find 
angles for each zone axis in the electron diffraction experiments. The situation is you already know the crystal lattice of the sample and you know the zone axis you observed on the screen and you already index that pattern. You want to know how to tilt the sample holder to get next zone axis electron diffraction patterns. Spec will provide the tilt angle for all the zone axis you can reach. It's very helpful in the electron diffraction experiment, especially when you're working on a very small grain size of sample. The example is cobalt iron chromium germanium tetragonal phase. This example is already described in the paper in the journal Applied Crystallography 2016 we mentioned before. So in this case this is the sterogram. And let me zoom in a little bit. Change the phone. And now we have zero zero one in the center. The situation. We know the current zone axis is zero zero one, and the tilting angle for this zone axis on the gonometer is sixteen point one, and the beta tilt is zero. For the double tilt, this rotation is a full rotation holder, and for the double tilt holders, we know the spot for. 0, 1, 0 is away from horizontal minus 14.9 degrees and this is the condition we put in next we put in new zone axis here the sterogram changes and we can put into Remove roof net and show the angle of the holder and also show the limit of the holder. The limit of the holder is defined in the microscope TM holder and I put 33 here, 33 here means for alpha tilt maximum minimum is plus 33 and uh, minus 33, same for beta tilt. This is in this area, all the angle you can reach, all the zone axis you can reach. So from current 17.1 and 0 zone axis, in the experiment I get it is now I get to enlarge this more. So I can easily to reach to minus 1 minus 1, 5, no exit by 2, 16.1 minus 17.6. And the other zone axis in the paper described we get is minus 1, 0, 3 by tilting to minus 23.7 and 9.9 .9.
Speca provide several tools for very practical use in the calculation. They are all listed here, and I already have them click them, have them out listed here. The angle between the the UVW, the angle between the HKL, converting from Miller Bravi to Bravi indices in for the hexagonal systems, to convert normal to a crystal plant from uh, HKL in the direct space. This is refraction list and you can save this to a file. Although we can read the angle by using the stereogram and by tilting the wolf net and read directly from here, but sometimes easily to calculate from using the formula here. First, you had to select the face, like face one or face two. We take face one, for example, use the iron platinum L10 face, increase the Stereogram a little larger, and I want to give the font a big so I can easily read them. So I want to know the Zone axis from minus one one two to minus one one three for the angle between this two zone axis. You just type here. It's minus one one two. The second one is one one three. Between this two zone axis, angle is 10.2 degrees. If you measure by the Wolf network, they'll be from minus here to here. Look like they are near 10 degrees. If you calculate the, the angle between two refractions, you have to select it here. Calculate them. Tetragonal system, but the C is very close to A and B. And let's try to see refractions minus one, one, two, and uh, minus one, one, three. The angles look like they're close to 10. And here, Type in one, one, two. Here is one, one, three. And it, it also gave you the reciprocal. Uh, the perpendicular possible zone axis. Because of this is a uh, not cubic is the tetragonal system. So the angle between the zone axis refraction between is different. This is 10.2, this is 9.84. This is the 0 0.6 Six five two zero point eight eight seven. That's uh, uh, how long in the receptacle for G one G two. 
perpendicular this to this diffraction path, you have a zone axis one one zero. To show you the function for uh, hexagonal systems, I load uh, the second phase as a hexagonal phase with a bismuth platinum. First, I calculate the, the stereogram for uh, the zone axis UVW. Put the uh, 100 zero zero to the center here. This is in the Blavi systems, for example, three one zero. This is the zone axis I put here. Three one zero. We had the space in between. And click here. This zone axis in Miller Blavi system will be five minus one minus four zero. And the same way try to find out a zone axis in Miller Blavi five minus one minus four zero zone axis. And you put this number here and put here and you got exactly back three one zero zone axis for the refraction is the same let's try refraction refraction like uh, one two three you want to know what is in the miller bravi system Exactly, we have already have one, two, three here, and you click forward. Suppose this is empty here, so you get the one, two, minus three, three. This is uh, easier. Just H K I the I is one plus two. Put a minus in behind in front of it. Same thing if you don't know this. This is Miller-Bravi indices. You put here, and you got one, two, three back. The last one is uh, for refraction list. We can provide you to calculate. You first select the phase one or phase two. Put uh, uh, high tension here, and what is the maximum of the G value is. You can select which part is in your list. You can make a, a short indices or a plan spacing, the amplitude. And, uh, you calculate, it will save. You can save this result to table. In PCD D3, we have a similar function uh, on this. Uh, this one gives you uh, more of the sorted result. And PCD3 is mostly graphic to display. The last one for cubic refraction and uh, their direction in the real space it will be the same. Here, not uh, cubic tetragonal phase. Let's find out for zero zero one HKL direct space. So it is same Let's try to see one one one.
it's a slightly different uh, because of the C a different very high angle number is it 13 13 14 very near to one you may start another set of uh, spec by click this icon so i have a two spec running here shut down this one hope that the software will be helpful for you in your research work please contact us for any questions suggestions and the license information thank you for watching please check our other videos about london software suite for electron diffraction simulation and crystallographic analysis